Hi everyone, this is Bernadette from the Sage and Public Library, here to show you how to use the Heritage Quest Family History Books database. This collection contains over 28,000 published family and local histories that can help add depth to your family history. Though there can be errors found in these texts, the clues that they contain can greatly help you in your research. There are two types of texts that will be found in this collection. The first is family histories. These can contain biographical sketches, oral histories, records of events, and listings of names, birth, marriage, and death dates, as well as stories about the family. You will also find place histories. These can contain descriptions of geographic features, historical information like seats of government, migration patterns such as the settlement of the area, and information on and the lineages of the founding families of the area. So we're going to start at the sachemlibrary.org homepage. We're going to go to Services and Resources and click on Research and Databases. We're going to scroll down to H, click on the home icon next to Heritage Quest, and log in with our library card barcode and password. This will take you to the Heritage Quest homepage. From here, we're going to scroll down and click on Search Now under the Books category. Now there are two different types of searches that we can do. We can search by publication or by a specific person. To search by publication, we'll click on the Publications button at the top. Here, we are given a listing of all the books in the collection. If we scroll down, the listings will keep generating. And we can click on any of these that we're interested in. We could also search for a specific publication by typing in the title, the author, the year, subject, or location. So if I wanted to search for a book about Brookhaven, I would simply type in Brookhaven and press enter. And it looks like there are three results. I'm going to click on the third one. So here I can search within this specific book or I can look through the table of contents and click on anything that interests me. I'm just going to start at the beginning. So I can zoom in or out. Flip through the pages. Jump to a specific page. View a film strip so I can see the pages easily. I can also go to the tools and print or download. So let's get back to the results page. If I wanted to search for a specific person or family, I would go back to the people search. I can input information such as name, birth dates, location where they might have lived, and any important events, as well as family members. So I'm interested in looking for the Woodhull family, so I'm going to start by entering the name of a prominent family member. And I'm going to keep this search broad so I can see as many results as possible. As you can see, this search produced nearly 500 results. Each of these results has a preview of the page where the name Richard Woodhull occurs in each book. And it also tells us how many times the name Richard or Woodhull occurs on the page. These first results are from Gazetteers, which are city directories that can help you find where your family lived and can also help you determine information such as where they might have gone to church and school. A Richard Woodhull also occurs in records of the town of Brookhaven, as well as some genealogies. Here, a Richard Woodhull can be found in a genealogy of the Minor family, but he can also be found in a genealogy pertaining specifically to the Woodhulls. Again, we can zoom in and out and use any of the tools on the side. And you can see where the name Richard or Woodhull occur on the page in the highlighted areas. Here we have Richard Woodhull with the variation of the spelling Woodhull. In a book such as a family genealogy, we can usually find biographical sketches of the members of the family, family lore and origin, images, and records of descendants. So if we go to the first pages, we can find a table of contents. And if we go to the back of the book, we can usually find an index of all the people listed in the book. Now it's important to remember that the page numbers in the book don't correspond directly to the page numbers in the film strip. So these numbers might be a little off. 
but they're a good place to start. So if I wanted information on Morris Woodhull, I would go to page 125. And then flip through the pages until I get to the correct one. And here he is. He was born on December 1st, 1842, and of whom later means that he shows up again in the book with more information on his life. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and happy researching.